Aside from our previous video, there's still some information you need to know about silver martens. Spaying or neutering. Rabbits are promiscuous, and you must control this unwanted behavior by spaying or neutering them. Spaying and neutering must be done at a young age. However, some vets prefer to wait until the rabbits are six months old. Consult your vet for the ideal time to spay or neuter your pet rabbit. Grooming. Silver martens have short furs depending on the color of the coat, but they will need regular grooming. Use a sturdy brush to keep the fur clean and shiny. Use a small brush and groom it at least once or twice a week. Grooming must also be done more frequently during their molting period when the rabbit loses its old fur to make room for new fur to grow. And to prevent wool blocks, keep the rabbit from ingesting their own by grooming your pet. If your rabbit is dirty, don't ever give it a bath because this can severely stress. Use a damp towel to spot clean the dirt. You must also trim your rabbit's nails and clean its ears. Taking care of silver martens. Silver marten is a unique rabbit breed. This is friendly, calm, and is easiest to take care of. Caring for this breed is like other rabbit breeds. You must make sure that your pet eats the right diet, stays and sleeps in a good enclosure, receives proper medical treatment, and lives with some companions. An important part of a rabbit's daily diet is hay and is usually considered the bulk of a rabbit's diet. Your pet will also eat rabbit pellets, vegetables, and fruits. Place fresh water and hay inside the enclosure. Hay is rough and can help keep their digestive tracts regular. You should provide safe food such as organic produce. Avoid food such as produce with pesticides, toxins, and herbicides. Younger rabbits may eat alfalfa hay because it's rich in calcium for growing bones. Captive bred silver martens can become calm and friendly when you invest time and effort to train them well. A way to do it is to interact with your pet rabbit through play. Rabbits are social animals and thus will need companions aside from playing with their owners. Remember that rabbits that grow up having loving owners and constant companions are healthier, happier, and well-rounded rabbits. Silver martens are also meticulous groomers and will groom themselves thoroughly from head to toe. You must assist in grooming by brushing it twice a week but more during the molting season. Silver martens are very active in the daytime and sleep in the evenings. Feed your pet silver marten in the morning when they are most active. Captive rabbits can sleep 8 hours a day and may sleep together to keep themselves warm and safe. Substrate. To keep your rabbit's enclosure clean, you'll need to ensure that any waste can be easily and quickly removed. You'll want to line the bottom of the enclosure with newspaper. Additionally, a soft substrate will provide comfort for your rabbit. Recycled paper that's shredded makes a great substrate that's easy to clean and inexpensive. Lighting. Silver Martin rabbits don't require any special lighting. Instead, you can simply rely on the light in your home or the sun if your rabbit stays outside. This will ensure that your rabbit is on a standardized schedule that follows the natural patterns of the seasons. Availability. Silver Martin rabbits make excellent pets. If you're looking for an ultra soft and cuddly pet that's like an animated stuffed animal requiring care, then a Silver Martin is perfect for you. They're strikingly beautiful and rather easy to keep. However, you might have difficulty finding one as they're not the most common rabbit breed. But if you manage to locate some that are available for purchase, they won't cost you too much. On average, You'll spend about $30.60 for a quality Silver Martin rabbit. Of course, rabbits with a proven bloodline that has been winning pet and agricultural shows could cost considerably more. A Silver Martin may be purchased from a breeder or a retailer locally or online. The price will depend on whether you are getting a rabbit as a pet or for a show. Also, expect the price to change according to gender, size, coat quality, coat color, and appearance. If you are searching for a good breeder, Look for one that breeds healthy rabbits without any genetic disorders. Purchase Silver Martins only from reliable breeders. You can also find Silver Martins in farm events, trade shows, and Arba-sponsored shows. You may let a rabbit like the Silver Martin indoors but only under your constant supervision. Use a portable fence to keep it off areas that you don't want it to enter. You must rabbit-proof your home before allowing your rabbit out of its cage. You can keep two or more Silver Martins in one cage as long as you have a large cage to keep all your pets in. The cage must be large, comfortable, and safe so your rabbits can remain safe and comfortable even in captivity. If you want to care for baby silver martens, put the babies in a comfortable and warm cage. Feed this soft, pureed food, and keep them safe and warm. Protect from predators. Some rabbits don't want to be held most, especially by young children. Meanwhile, some rabbits are naturally calm, docile, and friendly and won't mind being held and petted even by young children. The Silver Martin Rabbit has large ears and has good hearing. It can hear its predators even from far away, and this gives it time to escape the threat. 
Rabbits have good vision even at night. This is why some rabbits prefer to forage for food at nighttime. Rabbits like the silver marten also have a good sense of smell and hearing, which also allows them to feel for predators near their area. Some pet rabbits can survive the cold and will even find it fun to play even in the snow. Some rabbits may also change their fur color to adapt to the climate while some rabbits may not survive the cold, such as desert rabbits breeds. You can keep three or more rabbits as a pet as long as you have a large cage to keep these happy and contented. Keeping only one rabbit will only make it lonely. Rabbits should visit the vet at least twice a year. Young rabbits should be vaccinated against diseases as early as possible and must have an initial visit to a vet when they are just a few days or weeks old. It is a very hardy medium-sized breed. They are excellent as pets and maybe a bit timider than some of the large rabbit breeds. They are very friendly and playful and they love to romp around. They will spend time playing if given access to toys. Pet rabbits love to live with partner and they should be kept in pairs for companionship. Be sure to provide your rabbit with a few bunny safe toys. Rabbits have different personalities and can be picky with toys. Some rabbits are content with cardboard or a discarded piece of wood, while others require elaborate toys that provide mental stimulation. It is your responsibility to make sure your pet is healthy and happy, you'll just have to figure out what kind of toy your rabbit prefers. The silver marten rabbit is usually used for show purposes, but it can also be an excellent pet if it is well socialized. Kids should be exposed to new people, animals, and experiences early on so they are not as easily spooked when adults. This is especially important to the silver marten, which can be slightly timider as adults if it is not socialized properly or for long enough. Socialized silver martens are marvelous pets for seniors, singles, couples, and even families with children, provided they understand how to properly handle and play with a pet. Rabbit. Rabbits need to be treated with care and lots of love to ensure they live a long, healthy, happy life. Not all pets get along with other types of animals, but silver marten rabbits are pretty friendly creatures. The only issue is that they're also quite timid and shy, so getting your rabbit to open up to another animal could prove difficult. These rabbits have been known to befriend several different species. It's not uncommon to see them becoming friends with many common pets and livestock, including dogs, chickens, goats, geese, other rabbits, cats, guinea pigs, birds, and ferrets. Still, you need to be very careful when introducing your rabbit to other creatures, especially ones that are natural predators like cats and dogs. Your rabbit will be naturally wary of these animals, and if your dog or cat has a strong prey drive, they might never mix safely. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.